the heart of the Auckland Zoo lies the New Zealand Centre for Conservation Medicine, a high-tech specialist facility with the purpose of providing sick or injured animals the best possible care. This includes some of our precious native species who need a spell in hospital to get up and running again. What's the New Zealand Centre for Conservation Medicine all about? As you can see, it's got a hospital in it, so it's actually for uh, providing hospital facilities for native animals in particular, but also for all of the zoo's animals. So it's not just the native animals that we hold here in the zoo, like we hold kiwi, tuatara, uh, kaka, kakariki, but also animals like the kaki down in Twizel. We are a reference centre for them, and um, the Otago skinks, the kakapo. We provide the veterinary care for the kakapo team. Takahe, uh, yeah, anything really. The native frogs is a big part of what we do. Uh, we've got a colony of about 60 Archie's frogs here. Very little has been studied in our native frogs. And so we're kind of feeling our way in terms of how do we look after them in captivity and how do we make a diagnosis of what diseases they might be carrying and how do we treat them. So all of that is really pioneering stuff. And, uh, it's great to be involved in it, but it's kind of nerve-wracking because you're dealing with all these endangered species as well. Native wildlife that we deal with is mainly birds and reptiles, a few bats occasionally. And so pretty much anything that applies to other birds and reptiles applies to them, with the exception that New Zealand reptiles are so unusual because they're adapted to the cold. And most other reptiles are adapted to the heat. So if you're dealing with a tuatara, you have to prevent it getting too hot. Whereas, uh, for instance, the tuatara we looked at, if this was an exotic uh, reptile, um, then like a snake, for instance, then you would actually heat up its environment to, to speed up the healing. But with tuatara, you can't do that, so you have to just wait. So how did Tahito end up in the hospital? Uh, about uh, nine months ago, he developed a swelling on his cheek and we found that it was actually quite a big cyst, like a, a, a fluid-filled cavity. Originally, the cyst was right up here, and so there was a big cavity formed, so it's actually filled in, and it's just gradually closing up, and so that's all that's left of it now. So he had to have some surgery to take it out, and uh, being a reptile, they take a long time to heal. They're cold-blooded, you know, and their healing process is very slow. So what have we got in here? So this is a red crown kakariki. Uh, this is actually a zoo-bred bird, um, and uh, he's been here for several years, actually. And over the years, we've noticed that he's had problems molting and growing normal feathers. We've tested him for various diseases that might cause that, but haven't come up with a solution yet. While conservation medicine is a relatively new concept, it's clear that our health depends upon the health of the environment and the wildlife found within it. The New Zealand Centre for Conservation Medicine gives us the opportunity to study the diseases that face our wildlife and help plenty of patients along the way.